What's up? What's up, PMG family? How's everyone doing today? All right, guys, I'm very, very sorry I'm late. I looked at the time. It was 10 o'clock. I looked at the time again. It was 10 o'clock, and I'm like, where the heck did the time go? Um, just had to get some stuff done today. Now let's look at the charts. I took a little break from the charts because the charts are running out of steam, all right? We can see that the charts are running out of stream family. Um, there or steam. Sorry, there is a lot of coins that are running today. But guys, if you can actually check, nothing has really been running. Let I don't know why I have Luna pulled up here. <laughs> I didn't even trade Luna today. I, I guess the big thing for Luna, guys, is now it is really decision time for Terra Luna. Um, you know. Typically, we would have pushed back up to the 92 on Terra Luna. You guys, make sure all of you are smashing and tapping the like button. I'll try to look at coins tonight, but I want to dial in on the charts um, because now's, now's the time where things are either going to drop or pump hard. And Bitcoin did break. We do got to talk about that. But Bitcoin has not been going up. It's actually been going down since it broke. So Terra Luna, let's cover Luna because Luna is going to be a nice dip, right? They're going to drop to there. You realistically should pump to 92. Okay, realistically should. If it doesn't, she's dropping all the way to $77. Okay. This is what Luna is going to drop down to, guys. This is my trade setup. I have this lined up, ready to go. If Luna wants to break, it'll go down 13%. And if you look at your FIB, if you do a normal Fibonacci retracement, I'm looking for percentage of drop. I've told you guys this all the time. I'm very sorry. I know some people are asking where I've been, guys. I have... Uh, really been busy today. I'm busy building the PMG backend. I'm actually looking for a new spot uh, to relocate to so I can build my um, my video setup and stuff like that. Where I live, it's not exactly easy to find a new spot. I can't just jump to LA or America real quick, okay? So that's what I was doing all day and definitely doing some PMG backend stuff. And then the time just caught up. So very sorry about that if you were looking at um if you were waiting for me to go live at 10 p.m but guys make sure you're all smashing that like button all of you guys every single like helps us get trending on the algorithm especially right now because i'm not doing normal videos normal videos will come i've actually got a video coming out but i want to talk about this so luna is on the verge of breaking if it breaks 85 guys she is coming all the way down 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 282 okay first 82 and then she's going to come to 77. So watch for the break on Terra Luna. Let's go talk about waves because if you got into waves off my call yesterday, you guys are making massive profit in the mentorship or not in the mentorship. You guys are making profit. All right. So I got away. I got out of waves personally myself. Um, I didn't like the market pump. I got out with tons of profit. Very, very happy. All right, so Waves is about to bottom here. Now, here's the thing about Waves, guys. If you look at Waves, every time frame is almost oversold. All right? So Waves is going to do two things. Waves is going to pump or Waves is going to dump. Now, keep in mind, guys, you do have that channel, but I'm also looking at my um, at my daily here, okay? Because your daily is indicating that, you know, you have a double top. You can pretty much see that. If it breaks this 27.17, she's going all the way down to 23.24. If she breaks that, she's going all the way down to around 18. You have a nice order block here at 20, but 18 would be my be my spot on waves but make sure you guys look at the channel and the channel you're following and your trend okay you're at the bottom of your trend here so waves breaks this probably going to drop now 
keep in mind, guys, you need to be above your 200 MA on your one hour, right? So as long as we're above our 200 MA, you can see that this coin does not give up on your 200 MA. Let's remove the drawings here. So pretty much all the way since February 25th, $9, Waves has been at the 200 moving average, okay? You break that 200 moving average, do you think we're bullish anymore? Well, judging that we've been above the 200 MA at $9, and we're about to kiss the 200, we're about to kiss the 200 at $26. Um, Waves is definitely on a breaking point. You're also touching your 50. Okay, your 50 has been riding since March 15th from 26 all the way to 31. So you break these two moving averages, guys. She is going to get the limbo on, get low, and she's going to come crashing down, right? Now... Another thing, too, to keep in mind when you guys look at this chart on waves, you've got a nice trend, okay? So you've also got a nice trend, a very significant trend, which is also kissing your 50, okay? So you break that trend, and it's going down. And in my opinion, it's going down to $18, if you break this trend right here. So def definitely we'll be watching waves, guys. Um, definitely check it out. Make sure it's holding the trend. If it holds the trend, because now you're forming a double bottom on your one hour. But it, it is about to break that. Um, so yeah, just, just watch that. Did I look at Rune? Did I look at Cello? Rune, what is Rune doing? And Rune is just not giving up. Okay, so Rune is a looking like a good trade here, honestly. Yeah, Rune is looking really, really good. Oh, actually, no, Rune is not looking good. Rune is looking good for a long, to be honest. Rune is about to run to about... Man, Rune is going to be a really, really good short real quick. Uh, I would say Rune's going to run all the way to. I could see Rune hitting 10 to $12 at this point on, uh, on Rune. Absolutely, I can see Rune hitting that much. So... You're breaking your 200 on your daily here. Yeah, I could see 10 to I could see around 10 to 12 dollars on rune. I'm still not looking at longs, guys. Okay. And the reason I'm not looking at longs is because I know, well, I don't necessarily know. No one knows anything, but I think the market is gonna drop. We're running out of steam on every single coin. So I'll be looking at room myself. Okay. Nice following a nice trend here. Let's look at our channel. Rune is going to be a really good uh, short opportunity when it does run out of steam. So typically Rune should stop here. Um, but it does look like Rune is going to start to break. It is going up on your four hour. But your one hour is dropping. So, you're already almost at the top. So, your four hour candle might push up, guys, here, but it looks like your one hour, your 45 minute is about to drop. I would wait till this one hour pushes up, or I guess your four hour here. And it does look like Rune's been following this trend since February 24th. So this is a real consistent trend, and it hasn't broken out of, out of it yet. Um, it does look like Rune is going to tap out here around 851. So I actually might get into a short myself on Rune around this price. 
although your fib is showing that it is breaking and you are going up on your four hour, you are very much almost almost uh, tapped out on your RSI, okay? If you guys made money on waves last night, I want to see 111 in the comment section below. Let's wait till this four hours tapped out here and see what Rune is about to do. Then I'm going to do a longer term trend on Rune. Yeah, I'm liking this trade setup on Rune. If you guys aren't in the mentorship, you know what it is, www.clubmoongold.com. I'm actually going to do some live trading today, guys, all right? So some live scalping after the stream, and it does look like things will be set up. So here's the thing on Rune. It is... Um, yeah, so it's definitely breaking, but at the same point in time, it's not breaking where it is closing. It is just moving above. So I think Rune is going to tap out around here, to be honest, 8, 850. It might push back up on the next half an hour, but we'll watch Rune, all right? One, one, one. All right. Guys, let me let my dog out real quick here. Smash that like button, PMG family. Let's get that freaking algorithm trending, okay? You go in the neighbor's yard, I'm going to freak out on you. Ah, fudge. Ah. Damn it. Joji, can you, Luna P, can you clean it up? I didn't let her out. She was trying to bark. Oh, Luna. I was too late. The dog peed on the floor. She asked me five times. She kept on barking. She's like growling at that point. Whatever. Um, we got it. We got it. Okay, guys. So back to crypto. Rune. Rune is setting up for a real good short. All right. It's all right. It's all right. Not a big deal. When you ignore the dog, the holy shit, what happened to Chella? Okay. Um, yeah, I would have shorted it. What is happening to crypto right now, family? Short this mother freaking coin. Guys, I would have shorted this here. This is a huge pump. I was looking at Chella the last couple of days. Hold on, hold on before I say that. We have choices. We have all kinds of color, all kinds. I don't know, man. Um, This coin is weird. That is a pump and a dump ready to happen. I would wait till the four-hour close because uh, that four-hour close is going to try to push up. Then I, I would short this. Yeah, for sure I would. You pump past your order block right here. This is one big giant candle, guys. You obviously know that. Sweet mother, what what, what happened on cello? Does anyone know why cello pumped? I, I keep on saying, guys, I think these pumps are before a drop. I keep on saying that. Like, cello should have never, you know, broke past 271, okay? And it pumped past here. I know sandbox pump, uh, sandbox pump like ridiculously. So let's watch Cello at the end of the four hour. I'll be jumping on in the live, uh, doing some scalping with us, our members, guys. These are too, too many pump coins to not. All right. is sandbox all right guys perfect so i'm waiting on a short on sand now i could have argued that sand would have been a good short at 336 and yes sand would have been an amazing short at 3 336 um so actually sand rejected against the MA on your four hour. Okay. So sand realistically guys should have stopped here. Now the reason I'm waiting on sand, I'll tell you guys why, because it did break out. Okay. So here's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for sand to back test to your breakout.
Okay. Major OCD. Bang. And bang. Bang. And then you're going to go up, right? That is what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for sand to do that. If sand does not do that, guys, and breaks below 314, I will be shorting because that is called a fake out. It is not back tested to where it broke out. Again, the four hour is going to depict everything, and we're going to see what happens on the four hour. Everything is starting to run. So that means that Bitcoin is starting to run. That means that alt season could be beginning, right? Well, not exactly. Let me explain Bitcoin, guys. Watch the other streams if you don't understand Bitcoin right now. So Bitcoin's overbought on your four hour. Bitcoin is overbought on your one hour. This is setting up for a perfect full moon dump okay before the pump what is this this is massive accumulation okay now i keep on saying this guys bitcoin will not do nothing our market will not do nothing until this coin breaks out of your november consolidation hasn't done it yet Okay, guys, it's so darn close. It is pushing up over and over, push up. Now you can't even get to resistance anymore. So here's the thing about Bitcoin PMG family. Look at this. You can't even get to resistance. Here resistance, beautiful. Here resistance, strong. The bulls are strong. Here, bulls are weakening. Here, bulls are weakening. Here, bulls are weakening. And then you get the drop. You're running out of steam. You can even see on Luna, guys. Luna is a very clear indicator that Bitcoin is running out of steam because uh, Luna follows Bitcoin. Phantom. All right, let's go to Phantom. Yeah, exactly. The Ichimoku cloud as well. Are you saying we are going to have a dump or we're going to finally have a season? We're going to have a dump. I think we're going to have a dump. Like, look at Phantom, guys. You broke out. So you're having breakouts, but you're having fake outs. Okay? So Phantom. Phantom's about to tank if you want to short it. I would wait for that four-hour close on everything. And this is making a lot of sense. One, because it is Wednesday. Two, because tomorrow is the last day that we can have the dump, guys. Into tonight, tomorrow. Um, because full moon is 3 a.m. on uh, on March 18th, okay? I've got my work cut out for me because, in my opinion, after that, we're going to have a massive run. So what's going to happen now is you already broke out. You did break out. You came back down and tested. But if you go back between here under 121, you're going to drop all the way down to probably 103, based on the possible the dump that would be coming and then you had a massive pump it is lining up guys that we are going to dump because if you look at bitcoin on the four hour guys bitcoin is completely overbought okay here bitcoin was here here bitcoin was here now you're really getting overbought like you're getting overbought overbought and remember what happens when bitcoin is overbought overbought well, you go down a quick amount of percent. Usually go you go down more than 11%, but you guys get the point. It is running out of steam. There is absolutely no comparison to Bitcoin right now from here. No comparison, okay? Now here, your lower trend, your lower trend, right? Now, if you follow your uptrend on Bitcoin, because you did have a nice uptrend on Bitcoin and you already broke, you tested and you broke resistance. I'm still not bullish. I'm bullish on the market, but I'm just not bullish right now. If we want to be bullish, we need March 13th. We need to break out of 42.3, which is kind of funny because 42.5 to 42.3 is our main resistance. 
And then what needs to happen here is we need to break out, back test to where we broke, and then we run. If nothing back tests and come back down, it's a fake out. Okay. No problem, guys. Tomorrow is Saint. Tomorrow is Saint Patty's Day. Of course it is. Yes. Crypto coins are pumping. People are getting lucky. Us shorts are going to be getting lucky. I just want to point out Luna real quick, guys, because nice profit percentage of drop. Luna is running out of steam. Okay? Look at this. Luna is running out of steam. You're not pumping to resistance. This is about to break and break down. All right? Jasmine. Let's look at Jasmine. Okay, so Jasmine broke our trend too. Cool. Here's one thing. Jasmine is overbought. Okay. Jasmine is overbought. So. I might be crazy. All right. I think I know what I'm talking about when it comes to crypto. Actually, I'm 99% sure I know what I'm talking about. We have over 300 people in a mentorship program. This is looking like everybody's trying to get the last dollar before the big drop. I just don't see every coin popping off with no, like there's volume in the market, but Bitcoin hasn't broken resistance and you've got coins breaking resistance from, let me see real quick. So Jasmine broke a trend from January 18th. Hypothetically it has. Um, and Jasmine is going up on the daily still. So let's look at our daily trend. We got it parallel, broke it. Okay, so our parallel on our four hour broke, but realistically, our daily November trend is 27. I think I was saying this earlier around 27. And then. Sorry, about three cents because you're actually going up here. So two nine to three cents on Jasmine. Okay. Market makers want more FOMO money. Okay. What about GRT? Ooh, GRT. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Just missed it. That's fine. It's always opportunity. Yeah, GRT just missed it. Uh, if GRT breaks our trend and comes back down, she's going to drop. I'm going to wait for it to bounce off here. Same thing. Okay, so let's wait for it to bounce off here, hold a rejection and go up. But if it doesn't go up, which it probably will, um, then it will just break down and she'll she'll keep on dropping down. So missed GRT by a by a hair. Missed GRT by a hair, but that is okay. All right. This is obviously a big drop candle as well. So this will probably get eaten up back to about 44 maybe 43 and then short it you got that blank space down to around 36 though so i'm gonna have some nice setups in our mentorship program guys i'm liking some things they're setting up now for shorts sandbox is setting up really really nice waves is setting up nice waves is about to break a massive trend uh, GMT on Binance. I have no idea what coin this is, but it has absolutely been bustling for sure. Okay, so it looks like GMT 
is going to hit 76 and possibly 88. Okay, so my two shorts, my short would potentially be 76 on GMT. This is definitely looking at like a really, really good short. Do I see Omi dropping below? Uh, I'll have to look at Omi. Thanks for the waves call up 150%. Let's go family, all right? Making money in a red market. Well, I guess you could call this a green market, but it is, uh, let me look at CoinGecko real quick. Uh, GMT. Jeez, this thing's crazy. Is uh, GMT on futures? AGLD, Lasaldo, how you doing? So let's look at these two price targets on GMT. And we obviously are just continuing to run. March 9th. I need to look at this coin. This has been in a consistent uptrend since March 9th. Yeah, Waves is at the bottom of the channel, so I'm not sure if it's going to drop right away. Okay, AGLD Adventure Gold. So Adventure Gold is uh, man, what the heck? Adventure Gold is following a real nice trend for sure. Adventure Gold is about to drop. About to is kind of like. A lot of this TA is messed up right now, guys, because typically your stochastic is following your MFI, your RSI, but your RSI and your MFI is at the top, your stochastic's at the bottom. Like, this is not the best TA, just like on waves last night, but it panned out. So I would say a dollar twenty-five to a dollar twenty would be a short if you can. If you cannot short this coin, then this would be a take profit. Yeah, GMT is going to be a nice uh, short. Someone tell me where GRT is, or GMT, sorry, GMT. I'm looking on my Binance and Bybit and OKEx and pretty much everything I have. Oh, GMT is on Binance, wow. GMT is on Binance, but a bit lower. Um, I would definitely look at GMT. Yeah, for sure. We'll, we'll look at GMT. GMT is going to be such a good short. Oh, you're, okay, I see. Mm. Okay, yeah, so waves did end up breaking. Um, 
I would wait till this four hour closes. You traded GRT last night, XRP. Yeah, sorry guys, have my mic off. I just was asking Joji a couple questions here. Wow, XRP is actually following a bit of TA here. XRP is looking better for the TA other than the Wix, but uh, I think we're going to drop. Personally, myself, guys, I think tonight to tomorrow we're going to drop. We, If we don't drop, um, then like even XRP isn't. XRP is on the verge of going like 60 to 59. So watch XRP very, very closely. Someone asked for Kadena. Crypto face is currently in a $92 million long position, says we are not going back under 40K anytime soon. Well, Well, then this guy needs to know some real TA. I'm sorry about that, but uh, I think we'll go back under 40 for sure. You should not be in a long position when the market is overbought. I don't know. I'm sorry, $92 million. I think that's stupid, first of all. Second of all, um, in this market, I would not be long it, but if this was oversold on Bitcoin, I would say it's a probability we're not going back. Yeah, so here's the here's the deal. Okay, so KDA is holding. Um, so like I said, guys, KDA is either going to break out or break up. If you guys are looking to get into KDA, do not buy this coin until it breaks down or up and you want a confirmation. So what? You buy it a dollar higher. But right now, the market is so volatile, guys. You guys are going to be buying either two on top or two on the bottom when it could go down or it can go up. So right now we're waiting. Right now we're waiting for the market to do the market. I'll tell you why I think Bitcoin. I don't know why why people like I watched a YouTube video today. Bitcoin is never going under thirty nine thousand again, guys. Look at this. Okay, you are on the verge of dropping. Okay, now the fact is, yes, you're going up on the daily. But realistically, if Bitcoin is going up on the daily, Bitcoin should be skyrocketing right now. It is not. Okay? It is consolidating, doing what it wants to do pretty much. Looking at my analysis one more time. Now everyone has their own analysis, guys. Okay? Yes, Bitcoin pretty much broke. But at the same point in time, you're dropping. So it needs to hold this area right here, this newfound support at around 40. Okay, if it can't hold 40, you're going under 40. Like it's prominent, it's evidence happening. You're going under 40. Your overbought status cannot stay overbought for 20 days to make it over 43 or whatever I said it was on the daily. So
So I'm not here to gamble. I'm looking at real TA and charts and the charts are horrible right now. A lot of coins are losing steam. A lot of coins are pumping out of the blue for no reason. Um, and a lot of coins are definitely dropping as well. So, <laughs> ninety-two million dollars. I think that's crazy. I would never short along ninety-two million dollars. I'd probably spot ninety-two million dollars. Okay, VRA. I want to see what VRA is doing real quick here. So, Gala, okay, VRA is on the verge of dropping quite a bit. All right. VRA is holding, holding on to dear life. Yeah, GMT is pretty crazy. Um, I like GMT a lot for a short. I just need to know when that is going to drop. That is going to be such a good short, though. Okay, so VRA, guys, is about to drop as well. At some point here, it needs to hold above 1.8 or it is going down to 1 and then... 07 or 099. So VRA is running out of steam. Every coin is running out of steam. Resistance is not getting broken. Bitcoin has been running and we're not breaking November resistance that I keep on talking about. Okay. You touched here. You touched here. Good. Good. We're about to break. Boom. Drop. We're about to break. Boom. Drop. We're not breaking. We're not breaking. We're not breaking. Less and less and less and less. And then she's going to get low. She's getting real low, okay? I want to look at uh, cello again. It went up like a million percent. Uh, okay, so I would say cello and wind for that four hour close on cello could push up in the next five minutes, maybe not, maybe will. Yeah, but cello is going to be such a good short. Can I go over the fact that there's no smart money on the daily on Bitcoin? Um, yeah, there definitely isn't. All right, so. I know, man, I'm really mad about cello. <laughs> I'm, I'm really mad about cello, guys, because I've been watching cello like crazy. It will drop more. As one crazy wick. What is my favorite call right now? Um, sandbox. Just because it is looking like it is a fake out. But I say that and then we're going to see a bounce. So sandbox is my favorite right now. Waves is also my favorite due to percentage of drop. I'll see what happens here on sand. Definitely running out of steam for sure. Uh, Gala, what did Gala do? 
Don't tell me Gala Pump too. Jesus, what is with everything pumping today, man? This is like insane. Bitcoin went up, obviously, that's why. Okay, so Gala would have been a good short as well at 2141. I don't know, guys. This is looking fishy to me. I'd be shorting anything. I'd be shorting. I'd be shorting anything and everything you can in this market with a stop loss. All right. I don't know what is going to happen when I go to bed, unfortunately. But things are running for no apparent reason. I'll tell you that. Okay, I think uh, I think waves will come back up because you're oversold on every time frame. Um, but after that, I would pretty much say waves it's going to drop again. Just don't sleep, man. I haven't been sleeping for two weeks. I finally got some sleep last night. Uh, yeah, so I said Jasmine could go to about two nine to three cents. Um, okay, K N C. I would have been good to hit it here. About three twenty eight. Oh, yeah, KNC had a nice double top. There's going to be a lot of shorts, guys. Rune, oh, yeah, I was saying Rune as well, too. Rune was looking like my favorite one as well. Rune was also, uh, I would say Rune could go up a bit more. I, th I think Rune... Rune hit the top of uh, Rune hit the top of your channel. So, wait, give me a minute. If you look at a longer trend here, honestly, Rune could go up to nine dollars. It's about to drop though. Rune is looking like a really good short, but your four hours coming up. Okay, Pete, render, sorry. I'm trying to look at coins that are in succession right now for for short i don't know. so render could possibly hit here unless we drop 273 Wow, 53,000 BTC transferred, 312 BTC, 3,000 BTC, 45,000 BTC. It will be? Oh. So all the down, all the, all your down, Yeah, that's what I thought. Check. 
Cello still looking good. Cello's running again. I would wait for Cello, guys, till this one hour literally starts coming down. Cello is going to be a really, really good short. Really good short. I just got to wait for it. If, if you're asking me about my favorite short, I would say Cello. You're probably going to have another green four-hour candle or not. Maybe a green one-hour candle. And then drop. But Cello is, uh, yeah, Cello is going to be an amazing short. Still riding the wave short with 350% up. Let's go. One, one, one. PMG fam making profit. 350? I already broke your daily trend. But Cello hasn't exactly broken your daily trend yet. I don't know. Joey in the house. How we doing? Awesome waves call. No problem. Are my ideas based on what... Uh, Bitcoin is going to do absolutely because Bitcoin is going to drop or pump and you got to look at Bitcoin. Jasmine. Okay, we'll look at Jasmine again. So guys, same thing on Jasmine. This could run to two... Around two eight to three cents and drop. Okay, Jasmine is coming up to your daily resistance from November. And it does look like Jasmine is going to hit that. Yes. It's on both. Omi. Okay. Omi is about to drop major trend as well. Omi is running out of room. Omi should have pumped to here. I think Omi is going to stay here. I don't think we're going to, unless we have that massive dump, then Omi is going to come down quite a bit. I don't know. These pumps just look way too fishy to get people bullish in the market. Look, Bitcoin is starting to drop already here. So you're already rejecting on Bitcoin a bit. Yeah, FTM is uh, tapping out for sure. Let's go, let's go, Joey. Matthew, things are pumping because all the news is bullish. Ukraine made BTC legal. The Fed's rates were on par, yeah. I still personally think we're going to drop, guys. But but that is my personal opinion. I'm, I'm looking at what has happened in the past, and we usually have a pretty big drop before the big pump. So... Personally, myself, it, it could go the other way, but with not breaking resistance how many times since November, I think you're going to, I think you have to have a retest here. So if you're looking at SHIB, SHIB is also doing absolutely nothing. Um, I thought SHIB was going to have a double bottom yesterday. Actually did it. 
No, it invalidated. Well, it actually did have a double bottom, but it didn't pump that high. Only went up three cents, so it probably invalidated it at some point. Your pullback, and then you just your consolidation up. Unless this would be the pullback, but it does look like Shib invalidated your double bottom. API three T fuel. Sure. We could do T fuel. Nothing's happening with API three right now. Keep in mind, guys, API 3 was up here, $8. That is crazy. It's a 50% drop. API 3 is actually almost overbought on your four hours. So API 3 could go back to around 441. Thing, like I said, things are running out of room and running out of steam. All right. Um, T Fuel. Nothing. Nothing is happening on T Fuel right now. Okay, so T fuel is pretty much about to break out. Down or up is uh, is the choice here. Uh, T fuel could go back down to around 11, 11 to 10. Waves and sand both dropping. The waves is breaking trend. Sand is looking like it is about to break here. Yeah, so remember what I said, guys. If it drops down here, it is going to break, and it look it is looking like it might drop, so we'll see what happens. And Waves is dropping and just broke, so... Waves just broke your trend here. Um, so you guys could short waves again if you want or wait till that one hour finish because it'll get eaten back up here and then it should drop to around 24 from here. But yeah, waves waves just dropped. So around 20, 73 waves, waves just dropped, so. Gala tanking. Things are starting to drop. Bitcoin's holding on by a thread. No problem, fam. No problem. Okay. Alchemy pay is going to be my last coin because i do got to go live in the mentorship for our fam there um was a bit late on live on youtube tonight guys i'll make sure that doesn't happen tomorrow it's been a very very long day oh. 
What what are you saying, Joji, on Shell? Okay. Okay, so Alchemy Pay is about to drop to you guys. Everything is about to drop. It doesn't matter what coin you got, you're overbought in the four hour. So, oh yeah, GRT is picking up a bit here. Nice. Get some volume on GRT. I like GRT to run back up because then I can short GRT around 45. So I would say short GRT around 44 to 43.5. Or no, sorry, 45 is where I would short GRT, the graph. Okay, before we finish, guys, we're going to go to Cello, all right? Cello is running again, but... Okay, so I would say, guys, short cello pretty much around 3.30. Well, it already hit 3.30. Damn. Bitcoin's starting to drop. And... This is starting to play out. So let's wait for a green candle. But guys, honestly, 325 to 327, short cello anywhere here. Set your stop loss at 333. Starts running. Or what you can do is wait for the one hour close. Um, because this one hour close could pump it. I would wait for the one hour close. All right. You might not get the best position, but at least, you know, you're not going to, you know, man, this is 350. It could run up almost to 340. So I would wait for the one hour close. It's going to try to push up to, to 350. It's going to try. So wait for that one hour close. And then I would definitely be 100% shorting cello. Even if it closes here, whatever, cello's looking like a very, very good short. Like your four hours about to drop. I mean, your 45 minute, your four hour, yes, yeah, turning green, but your one hour is about to drop. I can't see cello going much higher than. I can't see cello going much higher than 350. I honestly, I'm going to wait for the one hour close. At least on cello. So. Even if this does run, you're you still needed to break out of your honestly, it might just push up to three thirty five. If we look at the five minute, it hasn't really been getting there. It's a very short trend, but three thirty five. Personally, myself, I'll be shorting cello at 335. You're five minutes almost overbought. Okay, so 335 to 330, guys. Um, if it breaks past this, 340, then I would, I don't know, do, do your own due diligence, see, see, what, uh, see what you guys think. But it is doing a shorter trend, like a very short trend here. And it hasn't broken it in the last... 
20, 30 minutes. So it is looking like it's following this downtrend. And it is starting to be a downtrend. All right, fam, appreciate it, guys. Smash that like button, guys. Join our Club Moon Gold, www.clubmoongold.com if you have not. Very sorry about being late tonight, guys. I'll be back on the grind with the videos. I'm just waiting for the drop. Honestly, guys, I'm waiting for the drop. It makes sense that we are going to drop. So that is what I'm waiting for. KPMG family, have a great night. Let's do this again, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow, guys.